Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. This is Moyna Bass Fishers. I'm Jim Moyna, professional bass fisherman. So today was the second day of practice for the 2024 Bassmaster Open on Lake Washita in Arkansas. Today was filled with rain and clouds and more clouds and more rain. We got a good test of our rain gear today and, and our cool weather and our warm weather gear. Because it was only, well, it might have got about to 48 or 49. But <clears throat> I really, I tried out a new setup for me for the for this weather condition. And I'd have to say I'll do it again. So what I did is I've got, uh, this is the uh, Blackfish Storm Skin, they call it. So it's got bibs and a top. And it's... It's warm. It's like warm weather gear. It's got this really soft, fuzzy, fleecy stuff in there, and uh, super comfortable. And over the t over the top of that, um, I went with the uh, the Rage. Uh, this is new by Blackfish. It's called the uh, Rage Rain Suit, and uh, that went over the top of it. And I'd have to say I stayed dry. I stayed warm. And actually, I got a little hot about midday. I wouldn't say hot, but I was getting a little warm, <laughs> a little too warm. So, but that was a success, which was good because being cold and in the rain is a bad recipe. So being warm and dry is a good recipe and you can focus on fishing and not on misery. And I was not miserable at all to say the least all right now as far as the fishing goes it was the fish were aggressive the fish were in a biting mood uh, I probably yeah they were yesterday too I just don't think uh, I, I caught like four yesterday but today I probably caught three times as many so maybe like 12 we'll say however uh, the size is not quite what I want um, probably out of the 12 I caught, probably three or four of them were largemouths, so the rest were spotted bass. And the spotted bass, a, a, a limit of spotted bass uh, over three days is not going to win this tournament. Spotted bass run smaller in size, so it's not really something you really want to key on. You know, if you're desperate and you can fill out with a spotted bass or two, that's good, but it's not part of any winning bag out here, I don't think. So I'm not really happy about with my largemouth production out here. Um, I got around uh, some of the grass out here today and it really, um, you know, I, I just, I, I feel like I'm not, haven't found what I need to find yet. So, and I'm not sure, I, I might have to go back maybe to some of the water that I was fishing yesterday or similar water to that and see if I can't come up with a better way to catch them and bigger ones. But I don't know. All in all, though, uh, at least I was catching fish and they were aggressive. And, and that concerns me because, I mean, it's, it's not fast and furious by any means out here. And there are plenty of fish that are swimming up to my bait as I can see on the Lawrence Active Target, I can see him swim up to the bait and the fish does not eat it. I, I don't feel a nibble, I don't feel anything, I just see the fish swim right up to it and then uh, maybe take multiple looks at it and then eventually swim away. So what's going to happen when these fish turn off? That's what I'm concerned about. If the, if the bite gets off that's going to be really tough out here and it's probably going to be off for maybe monday and tuesday maybe wednesday and thursday it might start to get back into the swing of things as it warms up again but we're supposed to get cold here the next couple days so um yeah it's going to get things going to be really interesting here <laughs> so and i really need to figure out how to get these large mouths to go i mean yesterday i did catch one four plus that was a nice one and today my biggest largemouth was maybe about a three pounder but you know 
it. A guy needs to win this tournament. All I can do is look at last year's results in a, a BFL here. There was a BFL towards the end of February last year. Uh, the top couple of bags were like around 17 pounds. So what that tells me is the winner of this tournament's probably going to be somewhere between 45 and 50 pounds is what I'm thinking. So anyways, I, I'm going to, I got to come up with, uh, a limit of three pounders every day at, at, at minimum to, you know, be competitive to, at the top. So that is what I'm after and not sure what, I mean, I, mean, I do got, I, I got, I, I, I do kind of understand a little bit about the fish's preferences as far as uh, where they like to hang out right now. Uh, maybe I just got to, because um, I was fishing everything today. I fished every, I mean, I, I put the troll, I mean, I, <clears throat> I graphed around for a while this morning and then I decided to fish and I just threw the trolling motor down and never picked it up until it started getting dark. And so I fished everything. I fished, I fished the backs of pockets, the outsides of pockets, the points, the sides, everything, um, the inside grass, outside grass, be, uh, brush piles up beyond the grass. Um, and there are some tendencies that did develop that I did pick up. So I could maybe just try to run what I consider to be the prime stuff and and maybe that would give me a better opportunity to um you know just be in just be in good water a larger part of the day a larger percentage of the day being good water but today but today was learning I mean I learned I also caught a pickerel today I didn't know they were out here but anyways yeah just fishing everything out here um, just throwing the trolling motor down and just fishing everything in front of you as you go along. Um, uh, that's, it's, that was alert. That, that helped me learn what was going on out here. So I, I shouldn't sell myself short because I did learn quite a bit today. It's now, it's just a matter of, uh, probably trying to, trying to just maximize the key types of places and develop that. Although, yeah, yeah, that's, but, and then trying to figure out how to catch these fish a little better. That's the other thing. Um, there was just too many fish looking at my baits and not eating them. Anyways, uh, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, we got uh, two more full days of practice and another half, so two and a half days. And then the tournament starts on Thursday. So the goal is to make the Bassmaster, to qualify for the Bassmaster Elite Circuit, these open tournaments are the route to do that. So I got to do well in as many of these opens as I can, and I got to avoid the, avoid really bad finishes. So anyhow, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And uh, this is, by this is a wool sweater, by the way, and it's another key component key component to staying warm oh and i got the blackfish thermal underwear too so it was a good day for staying warm good day to test some things and i get the thumbs up over